Hello everyone and hope you're doing fine. Today in this tutorial I would like to show you how you can switch from one scene to another scene without destroying the music. So what I mean is that you can keep continue playing the music while you are switching. This function, this script can be used also for like uh, keeping the player while switching from one scene to another scene in the same location with the same uh, like music or whatever is attached to the character or game object. So let's begin. Before we continue, I already added this pack of music from Unity Asset Store and you can find the link from uh, the description of this video and it is free and okay we are going to use this in our game. So first we need two scenes because we are going to scene from one scene to another scene let's save the first scene i will just name it first scene and let's add another scene name it second scene okay uh now let's keep this folder scenes here to have a tidy project to do and now we need to attach our music to something to a game object or whatever is here so the game can be able to play the music while we are playing the game so i will use empty game object you can use anything you want okay here i can i will add this music manager we change the name i will add oh the source here and I will attach this here okay uh, a music need an audio source and an audio listener in able to for it to be able to play so we have this audio listener here and it is active make sure it is attached somewhere and it is attached to the main camera in my case so now we need a script for this purpose i will add a script and name the script um, music script okay or music manager script whatever suits you before we continue we need to have our scenes inside the build settings so it will be able to switch when we are playing from here so let's add the build setting and let's Add uh, these two scenes by dragging here. This is my uh, these are my old scenes. I will just delete it by pressing delete. Just close it and now let's go to our script. And now first of all we need to ask for the for the game object that we are going to keep. So in this case it is um, public game object and the manager or the character whatever you wanna not destroy and since you're going to switch scene we need this unity engine scene management save it and here we will okay instead of update I will use another method this is not a really method this is a new method so I will use my method and I will just scene, use the scene manager, load scene, and inside the load scene, I will name the second scene which is going to switch inside the double quote. Don't forget the semicolon. Now, what we don't want to destroy? We don't, please don't destroy on load the manager. Okay, um, I guess everything is fine. Yes, uh, but something is still missing. I just would like to add a delay in switching scene because we will make sure in this case that the game uh, plays the music in both scenes. So before we switch the scene, yeah. For that purpose, I will use invoke. And inside the invoke, I will call the method which is going to be delayed. My method should be played in delay five floating points and 
okay, let's see inside the function. It takes the pentadame and the time. Okay, let's save the script. Everything looks fine here. Let's go back to Unity. So our script is not yet attached to any game object in our hierarchy. So it needs to be attached in order to be able to play. So I will add another empty game object. You can connect somewhere else if you want, but I just want to keep it clean and understandable. I will write script manager. Our script manager takes this music manager and the music manager asks for today's manager. The manager, our manager is music manager today. So let's save the scene the first scene and as you remember we have our scenes already here so let's play the music and wait for the <laughs> so as you saw uh, the music did not stop playing and it didn't even start playing from the beginning it continued to play the same music in both scenes the same way you can use for characters and game objects thanks for watching thanks for listening have a nice day bye